Every gamer out there right now finds themselves at possibly the best time in gaming history, with catalogs full of games to choose from and major gaming platforms releasing each and every year, a gamer's only headache is to choose from this pool. But oftentimes, a repeating storyline of a hero saving his loved ones from the bad guy gets boring, and you want an alternative. If that's the case with you, check out these awesome games that let you be the villain and blow off some steam. Beginning with an all-time gaming essential, Grand Theft Auto. From the first edition in 1997 to its most recent release, Grand Theft Auto V, this game has evolved in every possible way you can imagine. The storyline improved, the cities kept on changing, and the characters were different each time. Not to mention, with each edition, the graphics became more polished as well. But if there's one thing that remained constant throughout all these games, it was you being put into the shoes of an outlaw who was looking to make his way up the criminal ladder in his city. We'll dive into two of the most iconic additions from this game that Rockstar has released, GTA San Andreas, CJ's Rise to Power, and Dethroning Big Smoke. Released in 2004, this was Rockstar's fifth addition to the main titles of this game. The gamers who ever got a chance to play this game have its story etched in their memory and remember all the missions associated with it. The game's main protagonist is Carl C.J. Johnson, who is returning to his home city, Los Santos, after almost five years. Upon his arrival, he is almost immediately arrested and later left on the street with everything to work for. That's when the game commences, and we get a chance to navigate as C.J. around the city, where we fight rival gangs, take on the people who cross you, and work our way up as a gang leader. In addition to all this, we also get to be on the flip side, where we find ourselves getting in trouble with the law enforcement of the city. The likeness of CJ is what makes this game so memorable for the players and anchors their interest in the game till the very end. But this was far from over for this franchise, as it went on to make similar iconic additions. Up next, we got Grand Theft Auto V. GTA V is the most recent addition to this franchise, and you best believe that Rockstar Games really took their time with this one. This game was released after almost nine years of San Andreas, but what links these two games is that they both are based in Los Santos. Players get to revisit this once iconic city they played in as CJ in the 90s, with not one, but three main protagonists. In GTA V, we see Michael, Trevor, and Franklin embark on the same principles that are true to the core of the franchise, with gang crimes, side missions, and missions that involve all three of these protagonists, we see how far the franchise has come since 1997. With ultra-high graphics and its gameplay being second to none, this game is truly made a place in every gamer's heart. The storyline just adds icing to the cake, as it looks like something that came out of a classic Hollywood crime movie. So it came as no surprise when this game broke seven Guinness World Records, a feat that its competitors can only wish to achieve. Despite releasing in 2013, its online gameplay mode is something that most gamers still play regularly. Adding to this list, we have the notorious Plague Inc. Plague Inc. is a real-time strategy game developed by the British platform Endemic Creations. To say that people were blown away when they saw a large number of gamers enjoy this menace would be apt. This game takes inspiration from the horrors of the real world, which include the spread of disease. People are tasked with creating the most deadly pathogen they possibly can and see how it affects the masses all over the world. When a game's main objective is to infect the world population with a deadly pandemic, you can only imagine the level of sinister it sits at. The most standout feature of this game is the realistic and ultra-complex variables it uses for the spread of the plague, and you best believe that fans are here for it. Fun fact, after COVID-19 spread throughout the world, the game saw an unprecedented increase in its popularity to the point where Endemic Creations released a paid version for it. Further up, we get Sony's classic God of War series. This action-adventure game from Sony was released back in 2005 for the PlayStation 2 platform. Since then, it has become the company's flagship gaming title with 10 editions in the franchise. This game isn't contemporary, in the sense that it used some heavy Greek mythology with its main protagonist, Kratos, being a Spartan warrior sent by the Greek gods to kill Ares, who was the god of war. Kratos later finds out in the game that he was actually related to Ares and was tricked into killing his own kin. This lights up a fire within him as he goes in an all-out combat mode 
mode against all the gods. The character development arc in this game is truly remarkable, as the players get to see Kratos turn on the people he thought meant well for him. The latest edition of the game even lets you play as Kratos' son, and the player gets to train him in his father's way of combat and survival. This was a truly emotional roller coaster for fans who grew up playing the game as they saw Kratos grow old too. Moving on to our next game, the Hitman Agent 47 series. The Hitman series without a doubt is one of the most well thought out and lifelike stealth games ever created. Players get to play as the main protagonist in this game, which is an assassin, Agent 47. His distinct look of being bald with a barcode on the back of his head is something that suits his repute quite well. Throughout the series, we take on missions from the Syndicate, an organization that hires Agent 47 to take out anyone who comes in their way. With real-life based stealth missions, players get to brush up on their strategies and tactics in the shoes of a hitman. It would be worth mentioning here that the storyline tells us that Agent 47 is actually not human and is a genetically engineered assassin. This adds so much more to his character, as he is seen carrying out missions with his ice-cold demeanor. Next Next in the list, we have Mafia 2. The Mafia series is remembered by most, if not all, gaming veterans. With its second edition coming out in August of 2010, we had a brilliant outlaw game which captivated the interest of all its players, with the main protagonist being a young Sicilian-American mobster who goes by the name of Vito Scaletta. The game takes place in the fictional city of Empire Bay during the years of 1940 to mid-1950s. Vito finds himself at the helm of Empire Empire Bay's most notorious mafia families, as he avenges his father's debts and makes a name for himself along the journey. The game, according to many fans, has one of the best narrative story writing. Teaming that up with the essence from movies like The Godfather and The Untouchables, this game was successful in creating just the right atmosphere for its players to enjoy. Moreover, the fictional city of Empire Bay had elements from New York, Boston, Detroit, Los Angeles, and other notable American cities. This really was key, as the the city's map provided an immersive gameplay which included driving, shooting, and limited melee combat. All that you need to beat the Mafia. Another notable addition to our list, Infamous. This action-adventure game was released in 2009 on the PlayStation 3 platform. In this game, the player gets to play as the protagonist, Cole McGrath. Cole is a bike messenger, who in an unfortunate or fortunate turn of events was caught up in the devastating explosion of the fictional Empire City. City. The city was completely annihilated by this tragedy, but on the other hand, Cole McGrath found himself with unprecedented electric superpowers. This character then uses his newfound powers to bring the Empire City some semblance, but it eventually is up to him if he wants to put his powers to good or bad use. This game also had an inbuilt karma system, which affected our character's personal growth arc and the storyline adjusted accordingly. It would be worth mentioning that for the diehard lovers of the game, Infamous was given its second edition later on in 2011, which Sony gave out as a free download. The open world aspect of the game, along with its third person shooting view, made the game a sight to enjoy for all the players. So finally, that concludes our list of the best villain plays in video games. That's a wrap for this video. Which of these games have you had a chance to play? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.